This is Jonathan Becker reporting from Pro Tour Los Angeles 2005. I'm here with Chris McDaniel. How are you doing, Chris? I'm doing good. Uh, better known to most of the Magic community as Star Wars Kid. He's just secured his first uh, first top eight ever. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, he has a kind of unique combo deck uh, using Mind's Desire. He's going to show us how it works. Let's see how it goes, Chris. Well, you basically want um, a turn two mana, a turn two mana accelerator like Sakura Tribal or Rampant Growth, and a, a Heartbeat of Springs. And your best draw engine is Gifts Ungiven since it allows you to combo off by itself if you have the mana or cards in hand. And so typically you leave with like an island or something to make them think that you're playing control. And then play Sakura, sacrifice, go find a land from the deck. And at the end of their turn four, depending on what they've played, you'll want to Gifts Ungiven for something like Revive, uh, Nostalgic Dreams, Mind's Desire, Early Harvest. Okay, does, it, does it matter what they give you here, or are they basically done for? As long as you have the land, it, it usually won't matter. You can al almost always set up a Gifts uh, pile that, that does not matter what they give you. They can only give you uh, stuff to help you more. Like in this case, it, it might sound a little weird, but it's usually better to just not give them the revive and the nostalgic dreams, because that just adds more to the storm count. So they give you the harvest reminds desire. Come tap. Cast the cast the heartbeat. Have four mana. Untap untap uh, with the mana floating. You have to untap. Yes, early harvest untaps all your land. Untaps all your land, and. Um, Probably want to float more mana up the storm, kind of a little bit more, and then cast a, a desire. Okay, now the mind's desire is your kill card, and that's the one that does it mills, it mills cards for. Uh... You shuffle your library, and then uh, you uh, rent and you remove cards from the top of your deck from the game, and uh, for each spell that's been played this turn, and uh, you can play those cards until end of turn as if uh, they're in your hand and for zero mana. So basically, if you hit another Mind's Desire, you get to keep going. If you hit an early harvest and you're tapped out, you get to untap and cast all your big spells. If you hit a draw. A draw spell, you know, you get the more fuel, and you know, one of the best things you can hit is like a nostalgic dreams or something, or just another desire. Okay, now you have Storm Four going on right now, basically, right? Mm -hmm. So why don't you flip the four cards over and see what we get? Mm -hmm. And that's a, that's a that's a pretty good uh, desire flip for four. You can drop a heartbeat up to the five. You can cunning wish. And in the sideboard, there's a factor fiction, which basically no matter what they give you, uh, no matter what the flip for the factor fiction is, you can take the three card pile and then feed it to your nostalgic dreams, which will, you just take the three card pile, it'll get back the factor fiction on early harvest and uh, the mind's desire. And then you can cast factor fiction again, get the three more cards, cast the other nostalgic dreams, and then you basically add a, you can mind's desire for at least 12 or so, and then you're going to have cards that you draw off of uh, your deck. So Mind's Desire chains in another Mind's Desire. Yeah, you're just chaining your cards together. And a revive here, getting a revive is pretty good because you can just cast, it's an extra spell cast along the way to get back the early harvest or yeah, something there, like that. Is there a hand that looks really tempting in the front that you can't keep? Is there some card you got to have in your opening hand to really make it a, a quick combo? Um, unless you have, like, the Mana Accelerator, you, 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 you can't keep, like, you generally can't keep any hands that are just forests and... Um, just islands, you know. You, you need, you really need both of them, and it's really important that you have more green mana than you do blue, than you do blue mana, because almost every spell in the deck's one blue mana. But early harvest and nostalgic dreams is are each two green. So in order to generate enough mana to do it, you you need, need to be able to generate five mana usually. So. Okay, and what's your what's your best matchup and your worst matchup? Um, the best matchup is generally uh, really aggressive decks that don't have much in the way of disruption. Uh, such as like the green white decks, I mean the red white decks, because uh, there's 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 early you have uh, moments pieces which is basically a double time walk against those decks, and um, as long as you stay out of burn range and the, more importantly the the lava dart range once you mill their deck, they really don't have much game against you. you just want to develop and then while fogging or just stalling whatever and then try to win as fast as possible. How about your worst match? What don't you want to sit across from? Uh, don't want to sit across from decks like like, like control decks or other combo decks because it can be almost like a coin flip. The control deck, I built my board specifically for uh, control decks with uh, three uh, mana shorts and three more brain freezes, so I can try to just, without having having the combo, you know, if you have multiple brain freezes, it can be really easy to just up a, get a storm cut up to like seven or so and then mill them for a whole bunch at a time, like 40-something. 
Perfect. Thank you very much for your help. I appreciate it. Thank you.